Hidden in Cookie Clicker is a black market, and the hardest achievement to get is to make $10 million profit by trading stocks. So far, I've made negative $12. First, I'll explain why this achievement is important enough for me to spend 400 hours on. It started seven months ago. I wanted to play a simple game, so I bought Cookie Clicker, clicked the cookie, hired grandmas, then those grandmas created a demonic cult and took over the world, led by Grandma Vera. I built dimensional portals to escape Vera and bake cookies on other planets, but she followed me. So I invented time travel to escape to the past and hired gods to bake me more cookies and fight the grandmas, eventually cloning myself to do it all over again in infinite realities. And then, it started to get complex. I realized no matter what I invented, nothing made me more cookies than kittens. To avoid paying fair wages to my workers, I was hiring kittens the entire time. And they are baking geniuses. They run all the buildings for me, and are currently giving me a 3 trillion percent multiplier. And they work harder the more milk I give them. The amount of milk under the cookie is dependent on how many achievements you have. So I need to get every achievement so that I get more milk, then my kittens will work harder, and I will finally have enough cookies to defeat the grandmas. I've already got the easy achievements. Now it's time for getting $10 million. But right now, I can only make small trades, like $12. Getting the achievement hardcore increases your max trade by a thousand percent. So before getting liquid assets, I'll get hardcore. Get to 1 billion cookies baked with no upgrades purchased. So I ascended to restart my cookie baking journey from zero to get a billion cookies without upgrades to trade more to get 10 million dollars to feed my kittens milk to destroy Vera. And I should also learn finance. I put on five different finance podcasts and began to get hardcore. We are back to zero cookies. And the game has a message for me. You feel like making cookies, but no one wants to eat your cookies. So I started clicking the big cookie. Your first batch goes to the trash. The neighborhood raccoon barely touches them. But I bought some cursor to click the cookie for me. Your family accepts to try some of your cookies. But without upgrades, I have to rely on buildings. So I have to take a huge huge risk, hiring a grandma. Your cookies are popular in the neighborhood. I saved up to buy a cookie farm where we grow all natural grass and very unnatural cookies. Without upgrades, my clicks will always be worth one cookie, becoming pointless very quickly. But luckily, my farm cookies are so good that people are starting to talk about your cookies. 2,000 cookies. Your cookies are renowned in the whole town. Now where the grand new grandma's about to drown. This is my cookie error. Tear you down, give up error. You've heard of Minecraft. Now introducing mine. Draft, where I can script people into the mines to work for me. Wait, she heard my rap. Vera has returned, and she's recruiting more grandmas. I need to get to a billion cookies fast before it's too late. We're at 1,200 cookies a second. A billion will take nine full days. But luckily, your cookies bring all the boys to the yard, and I'll put those boys in a factory to make me more cookies. When I said conscript people, I meant children. It isn't child labor, it's orphan housing. Don't ask why there are so many orphans. 3,000 a second. Who would need more than 50? People come from very far away to get a taste of your cookies. 90,000 a second. Take a shot every time I say cookie. The grandmas are growing. Kings and queens from all over the world are enjoying your cookies. Never buy upgrades. Don't get the farmer's self-driving tractors. Don't get better drills for your minor miners. Don't buy your factory's child la- Wait, that's actually part of the game. I was just joking. A national day has been created for your cookies. This is taking longer than I expected. I'm going to sleep, and when I wake up, it'll be done. Where? Oh, a cookie. I don't know why, but I feel an urge to push it up this hill. I have to get it to the top. Dragoon, you will never get 100% of achievements. I will take over the universe. No, leave me alone. Also, your raps cause me physical pain in my cookie domain. They call me Vera in your heart strike terror. This floor maintained rain, plain lane, break cocaine again in my champagne. As a pregame so that your name will not remain. Cause you're dead. I'm back. I slept interestingly. And I have the same amount of cookies. Because offline earnings is an upgrade. Damn it, there are now museums dedicated to your cookie. Don't buy rolling pins. Don't buy pickaxes. Make them dig with their bare hands. I'm at 900 million, but the grandma army is expanding. Keep clicking for one cookie. History books now include a chapter about your cookies. And then, I did it. Hardcore. Get to 1 billion cookies baked with no cookies purchased. And remember, I had 5 podcasts in the background during that. From them, I learned one thing. Buy high, sell higher. Inflation is unstoppable, the market will never drop. Now that I can trade large amounts, I am almost ready to start trading. But right now, I still can't trade the most expensive good. You, or me. Dragoon, you've become a publicly traded good yourself. But to be able to buy and sell alternate versions of myself, I have to conquer multiple other realities. To prove I've done that, I need to get another achievement. Reincarnation. 
ascend 100 times. I will read directly from the wiki. This achievement is one of the most labor-intensive achievements in the game, needing several hours of grinding over several days. It is recommended that this achievement is only attempted by one who is mentally insane. All right, I added the last bit, but it really says the rest. Once you get a bunch of cookies, you can ascend to heaven and unlock special upgrades. You restart the game, but come back stronger, with even less morals for child safety. Now, you'd think I would just press legacy to instantly ascend, and do that a hundred times real fast, but it doesn't count unless I get at least one ascension level. And I've already gotten 500 trillion ascension levels, and each ascension level takes more cookies than the last. So before I can get one more ascension, I have to bake one tredecillion cookies. If you don't know much about numbers, that's one of the big ones. So I bought as many gods, alternate universes, and antimatter cookie bakers as possible. And I can finally buy upgrades, so I bought 400 of them at once. I made one tredecillion cookies and got one ascension point done. So I reincarnated it again, bought a bunch of buildings and upgrades, and after about 25 seconds, I had another ascension. The next time, I only bought the top few buildings, so I don't have to waste time scrolling. It only took 20 seconds this time. I have to do it a hundred times. I want to be fast. But this animation of the cookie breaking takes ages. We can reduce that. Next time I ascended, I pressed escape immediately to skip the scene. Reincarnated and started buying things again. I now get through an ascension in 13 seconds. Now I just have to do it again and again. Wait, I, I got it. It's done. It only took half an hour. That wasn't late intensive at all. And that's because the description I read before wasn't for reincarnation. It was for a secret shadow achievement. Endless cycle. Ascend a thousand times. I have to make a decision. I've already committed to getting every achievement, but there are also shadow achievements. Regular achievements add to this number. Shadow achievements are counted as a purple number next to it. They aren't in the regular achievements because the creator of the game thought they were too unfair and difficult to expect players to get. He underestimated me. Not only will I get every achievement, but every shadow achievement. I won't feel complete if I don't. So I gotta go do that 900 more times. I want a full day to do this. So I'll stop for tonight and get some rest. Chocolate chip cookie. Almond cookie. Cosmic cookie. Wookies. Toast. That's not a cookie. Dragoons, I will erase your face. No, no, no. I'm waking up. I won't have three wraps in a single video. Not unless this takes over a month. I'm awake and have a new system for ascending. When you start a new game, buy all upgrades. Shift click cursors and grandmas to buy hundreds at a time. Keep buying upgrades as they unlock. More cursors. More grandmas. As soon as you can, click legacy. Enter escape. Click enter. Back to buying. One cycle takes me 10 seconds. Now to do it hundreds of times in a row. For everyone asking for Hypixel Skyblock content, this is it. Doing the same task over and over for 8 hours for one number to go up. Unironically, Cookie Clicker has more diverse gameplay. Wait, I just realized there's no in-game counter for ascensions. I have no idea what number I'm up to, or if this is even working. I have no idea how long this will take. Unless, you can export your save file. This is for two reasons. One, to have a backup of your game in case your file corrupts. Two, to cheat. To change the source code of your game and give you everything your heart desires. I'm not going to cheat, but I am going on a site called Cookies Save Editor, so I can look at my game code and find that I have clicked 1200 golden cookies and missed 4000, and have ascended 912 times. I'm almost done. 80 ascension cycles later, I finally have it. Endless cycle. Meaning I can now trade large quantities and even trade myself. It's finally time to get liquid assets. I also learned an important lesson. Losing all of my money in the stock market will not be as bad as losing my time I'm pressing the same seven buttons for hours on end. I'm ready to throw my life savings into something I don't understand. The perfect mindset for trading. And I'm pretty sure if I sleep, Vera will take over my mind, so I just have to go straight into the market, sleep deprived. The perfect mindset for trading. So I bought a bank and unlocked the stock market. The currency here is in dollars. One dollar is equal to one second of cookie production. So earning more cookies won't help me in the market, meaning the economy perfectly keeps up with inflation. The least realistic thing about this game. Every 60 seconds, the price of every stock changes. The first two stocks I can trade are cereal and sugar, so I bought three of each. And after my first tick in three, two, one, I'm down $149. Right. I'm going to go learn how this works. I read the wiki, I read economic studies, I played Monopoly with my family, now I understand the stock market. The kittens that run all of my buildings have secretly created their own companies that make other goods. The wizard kittens produce vanilla from an alternate dimension. Honey is created by pure chance. And the fractal engine kittens were convinced by the grandmas to start producing rival cookies. So there are 18 different goods to trade and I can buy approximately a thousand of each stock. If I sell them from a higher price than I bought them, I make profit. And 
and so I only have to answer one question. How do I buy low and sell high? Thousands of people over hundreds of years have spent their entire lives struggling with this problem. So how could I hope to solve it? Well, none of them had the comment section flaming them. To trade well in real life, you need knowledge before anyone else gets it. Like knowing a copper mine is about to cave in on accident. Or predicting strawberries are going to have needles in them on accident. But those things are illegal, so I can't use them in Cookie Clicker. I consider cheating in Cookie Clicker worse than real crime. Luckily, the Cookie Clicker stocks are written about on the wiki. And even more luckily, I can read. Not to brag. There are two things you need to know to be a cookie market expert. Resting values and modes. Each good has a resting value. Cereal is $10, chocolate is $20, and so on all the way to you at $180. The prices will always converge back to this point. So if a price is below this, you should buy it. And then there are six modes that a stock can be in. It stays in a certain behavior for a while. Stable, leave it. Slow rise, buy it. Slow fall, sell it. Fast rise, buy. Fast fall, sell. Chaotic, God help us all. There's more in depth things, but for now, let's get out of the red. Butter was below its resting value, so I bought 30 stocks. Waited five minutes, it rose high, and I sold it all to have $37 profit. Getting an achievement for making my first dollar on the stock market. This is easy. The entire stock market crashed, which gives me time to upgrade the garage I'm trading out of. $37 profits all the way to 10 million will take too long, but the bigger offers I have, the more stocks I can trade at once. So I started a tiny bank and traded more. Opened a loaning company, sold out fake insurance. Finance headquarters, scammed governments, international exchange, I invented Bitcoin too. And then there is one more building the Palace of Greed, but it requires curses level 13, which costs 23 sugar lumps. Sugar lumps are a currency you get once per 24 hours. This building cost me 23 days of time. I need sugar lumps for even harder achievements in the future. It physically pained me to press this button. But now that I have it, I can get a new achievement, own a thousand of a single stock market good, and I will buy cream made from antimatter. As they say, cream rises to the top. To trade the max stocks, I need more cookies than cookies per second, and wrinklers help by reducing my CPS. The only problem is they work for the grandmas and whisper about the end times. Your death is but a speck of insignificance in my grand plan. I'm sure that's fine. I started analyzing stocks. Jam was down, then it entered fast rise and I bought it. Now it looks stable, so I sold it for a profit, meaning I'm now $65,000 in debt. I spent 54 more sugar lumps to get level 10 banks, increasing the resting value of all goods by $9. Now I'll make approximately $9 more each trade. That'll be worth it. I may be 80,000 in debt, but I have 1,200 egg stocks worth $80 each. If I sell them, I'll get 100,000 profit in a single trade, unlocking an achievement for trading a whole day's worth of CPS in a single trade. So I am now still 2,000 in debt. You lose 20% of your investment on purchase and sale. You might think that's pure evil. Well, transaction fees are run by grandmas, so yes. If I give the grandmas 20 minutes of my CPS, they will reduce the transaction fees by 1%. So I bought a ton of grandma brokers. I can't trust them, but I need them for now. I sold a couple of high value stocks I've been holding for a while. And finally, $5,600 profit. I kept the same strategy and kept looking at the screen for five hours. And at the end of my first day, I sold everything to see that I'd made $330,000 profit, which seems good. Then I realized to get to 10 million, this will take 30 days, which seems bad. Day two, I have a new tactic. Instead of constantly trading for five hours, I will buy the low cost stocks, then go off and play with my cock for a couple of hours and then come back. Buy low, sell high. Then I don't have to play cookie clicker all day. And after a full day, I'm at 860,000 profit. Day three, I sold eggs to make my first $1 million, and you can do it too if you buy my course. Day 4. Butter is at $1. Buy all of it. Day 5. A historic fall for honey. All the bees are fucking dead. Day 6. I'm going for a new achievement. I'm going to buy 913 of myself, costing me over a day's worth of CPS. Day 7. Receipts going wild. 1.5 million. We're in a bull run. 17 of the 18 stocks went up last tick. Inflation is eternal. Long live the great money printer in the sky. Day 8. Everything is in the red. It's all going down. And since I've been here for so many days, I can't believe this, but I started growing garden seeds again. After the Juicy Queen Beat destroyed my mental health, I thought 
thought I'd never go back, but it's been seven nights and Vera has been rapping in my dreams every time I close my eyes. I'd rather have nightmares about the queen beat again. Day nine. I have successfully grown a baked berry. Day 11. I'm at six mil and I'm back to getting the second rarest plant in the game, the golden clover. Day 14. You know what they say about cream? It rises to the top. Day 17. Eight million. We're almost there. Bet it all on cereal. Day 21. Cereal is now worth $119. I am worth one more dollar than cereal. Should I be worried? Day 22, with 12 seeds unlocked at $9.3 million, I cannot wait for this to be over. To stop playing Cookie Clicker for a while. Wait, why do I hear boss music? No, I'm nearly done. The achievement is 10 mil. I'm finished, okay? Cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go. No, stop it. This is over. <sighs> I'm about to finally be done. Or so I thought. Liquid assets may be the hardest regular achievement in the stock market, but do you remember shadow achievements? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing gaseous assets. Have your stock market profits surpass a whole year of CPS. That's $31,536,000. Day 23. I'm about to do it. I sold myself and achieved liquid assets. So I am 30% of the way done, meaning I get to spend more time gardening. Oh look, I unlocked the queen beat seed. Now I get to begin the fun part. Day 24. All right, I need a new plan. I don't want this to take 70 days to get 31 mil. So I have to become more efficient in the stock market. Luckily, other people are just as dedicated to Cookie Clicker as me. People have created AI software to tell you when to buy and sell. There are full written guides to maximize Cookie Clicker profits. These people could use their knowledge on the real stock market and make millions, but it'd make life too easy. These people prefer a difficult life for the thrill of it. Day 27. I've consumed all the guides. I know exactly what mode every stock is in. My trades are optimal. I'm making a million dollars a day. Day 30. Oh, oh no, that's a month. Day 31. I got a shriek bowl. I got a juke taker. One dollar, one dollar, two dollars, one dollar. They're rising to the bot. Day 35. I've frozen cookie clicker. Their game is broken. What a shame. I guess I can't play anymore. No, it's working again. Yay. Tag Sexun Dreisig. Oh, I got an achievement for getting one Octodecillion cookies. I forgot this game was about cookies. Day 38. New achievement, harvesting a thousand mature garden plants. I have 27 of the 34 seeds. I'm going to do the entire last video inside of this video. I also have 23 million dollars. Day 39. Right now, chocolate is worth more than me. That's all I've got to say. Day 40. I have 32 out of 34 seeds and the Edver Daisy is growing. So in 18 hours, I will have every garden seed again except the Juicy Queen Beat. Also, 28 million. Day 41. Cookie Clicker crashed my computer. Day 42. For the past month, I've just been trading Cookie Clicker stocks in the background of my day, and it doesn't seem that strange to me. The first time I did something like this was spending two days mining emeralds in Minecraft, and afterward I saw emeralds in my real life vision for days afterward. I was genuinely concerned for my health. Now it takes me 40 days to start wondering if I've gone too far. I'm building up a tolerance to this, and I don't know if it's a good thing. Day 43. I'm almost done. Over 30 million dollars. There's only one thing standing in my way. Vera. She's gotten all the brokers to go on strike. I can't make my final trade. Unless... I defeat her 1v1 in a rap battle. I'm the Grandma Prime, the antithesis divine. Now it's finally the time to reveal we are a high mind. We hate you. There is no debate. You must die. Run you straight through. Then it will come for rate you to just try. To escape, you will find my power is a naked picture laid to me. We'll make you become a cookie trust. Wait and see. We are the devil's nightmares. We tear your mind apart and it could never be repaired. Despite our old age, there's no limit to our rage. If you think you can defeat us, then here, take the stage. The purpose of my creation is the obliteration of your population. This is a declaration of an annihilation. My reputation causes desperation. Can't hurt me. Came from a black ape filled with ambition. So many forces of opposition. One year of competition with me and you're with a mortician. Killed all 30. If you doubt me, read the lore. I fought in the cosmic Morgan war. Loons can't stop me, so mock me, knock me. But then you'll watch me filled with determination. This is a demonstration of extermination. Let me swap the beat for a clearer explanation. To my skill, there is no ceiling. Now the final blow I'm dealing gives me emotional healing. Enemies for me kneeling. Wonder will they ever learn until I win I don't return. So to whom it may concern I am antithesis of failure. Vera Bird. 